The film is called Gigantic. It's about a, a young man who sells mattresses and wants to adopt a Chinese baby. Uh, a, a rich businessman comes into the mattress store who John Goodman plays and he buys a bed and he sends his daughter, this girl Harriet, who Zoe Deschanel plays, in to do the financing for the bed. They have sort of an umbilical relationship. Uh, she still lives with him. She's too old to live with her father in a rich apartment in New York. And so when she comes in, her and my character, Brian, meet, and the film kind of takes off from there. And there's a bit of a love story. There's her relationship with John Goodman. I have parents who are 80 years old, and I was sort of an afterthought of a child, and I have very older brothers. And so you get a taste of my family, her family, our love story, and the whole time I'm trying to adopt a Chinese baby. It's not traditional. It's it's got a little bit of a surreal or absurd element to it as well. It's really nice. Um, my character gets beat up by a homeless man. Sort of stalks him during the film. Uh, I really like I really like the movie, and I can't always say that. It's hard to be objective, but I, I think I really like it. Brian Weathersby is the name of my character, and Brian. He's a really normal guy in one sense. He works in a mattress store. He lives in New York. But he's got this sort of confidence, but also this kind of maybe depression that it, it was really interesting to me. And the character is not somebody who's explained to you in the writing. It wasn't something that you knew he was happy here or sad here. This. You knew enough about him, but there was still a lot of mystery to it for me, and I felt just compelled to figure out what that was, and I felt like I could help what that was, and I just liked him a lot. And I think him and I also share some things that are similar, which hasn't been the case in a couple of the parts that I, I'd done previously, so that was interesting. You know, Matt said something smart yesterday, and he said, you have to find a way to portray the absurd without being absurd yourself. And for me, when reading the script, Brian grounded the humor, and you need a place to understand it all from, and you follow him throughout the film, and it's not through his eyes, but you're sort of with him on his journey. And uh, for me, if anything funny happened for Brian, it had to come from a completely real and grounded place. I'd rather feel something as an audience member than intellectually know it.